All right. So get this plug in pretty good shape now. Make sure you don't have any solder stuck through on the back side. And all that looks good and clean. Look how nice that looks. So we'll just drop our plug in. And look at that. We made the whole point perfectly clean. It just dropped right in. So you can see and make sure it fits flush. And you can do a couple things. Um, I had some that had a hole on each side and I just wrapped a tie wrap through it. Um, it was out, of course out of the way of the soldering but to hold it temporarily or you could tape it. You just want to make sure when you're soldering it doesn't drop out a little bit because you want it really flush. And for this I'm just going to just set it just like that, you know, put some pressure on it. Just to make sure it stays flat. So we got our solder. And go ahead and plug my desoldering iron because I don't need that. It doesn't get blurry on us. All right, I guess that's about as far as it'll go without getting blurry. So here we've got our solder point, and we just want to put our tip on here, get it hot. bring our solder in and that one's done so this one again this tip is kind of big the points wearing off of it so bring it in you actually shouldn't even have to touch the solder to the tip um, should be able to touch it either to the trace on the board or the the um, lead on the uh, power jack. Um, that kind of ensures that you don't end up with a cold solder joint because you know that the metal that you're soldering to is hot enough for the solder to stick. See, so, yeah, I'll try to show it on this one. We'll put put it on this end of it. We're gonna stick our solder, the other side of it, and right at the front, and we'll put just a little more on here. There we go. And we're done. See it zoom back out. As you can see, it's nice and flush. You got some good looking solder joints there. Once again, that dark looking stuff on the board is rosin and it will come right off. I mean it doesn't hurt it. You leave it on there, but it's not the board's not burnt. Nice good solder joints.
So, that's how you desolder and solder a jack on a motherboard. And it's very tedious work. But if you take your time and don't get in a hurry, you can do it without hurting the board. And without hurting the power jack. We didn't hurt the power jack, and we reused it. Of course, if you're actually doing this to replace the power jack, you, know, you wouldn't reuse your old jack. But Anyway, hope that helps out.